What's up Tackle Warehouse fans, Jake here. And today we're gonna talk about the Tackle Warehouse Umbrella Rig Bag. I'm here with my buddy Kyle. He is one of our buyers here at TW. And he's the kind of guy, he's the guy that when we come up with ideas and we're throwing stuff at the wall and we're all hanging around the office, you know, you know, taking stuff apart and coming up with ideas, he's the guy who takes it and, and takes it out there and makes this stuff a reality and brings these products to market, makes them, uh, makes them come to life. So this is one we came up with, and uh, Kyle, we're gonna go through this thing. So the first thing, first topic we wanna go over with on the umbrella rig bag is kind of the size and the footprint of it. So why did we go with this size, and why would you design it this way? First off, Jake, thanks for the introduction. I watch this guy every week on What's New at TW. This guy, he knows a lot about baits, rods, reels. I'm just here talking about a bag. But thanks, man. Anyways, we got Tackle Warehouse umbrella rig bag. Jake mentioned footprint. This bag was designed off of a 3700 tackle tray footprint. So we all know the 3700, the 3600, the 3500. This bag stacks perfectly alongside 3700 tackle trays. Exactly. You put it inside that uh, co-angler bag or the tournament bag, it slides right in there. You know, boat compartment, it fits right in line with all those boxes. Horizontally, vertically, however you want to stack it, this thing fits along 3700s. Perfect. Now, uh, some of the features on the outside, kind of a nylon construction. Uh, what, we, what we go with that here on the outside? Yeah, so of course, you got the Tackle Warehouse logo. You gotta show that off. We gotta, look, we gotta have that one. That looks good. So, yeah, it does. <laughs> from there, you got nylon, just heavy duty nylon, you know, tug, tear, you know, pulling it in out of boat, a bag. The thing's gonna hold up. It's pretty rugged, you know, when you're feeling the outside, uh, the heavy duty nylon and all the stitching that's on the outside, you know, uh, you can beat this thing up for years and it's gonna hold up. Absolutely. So as far as the open enclosure on this bag, we went with more of an envelope style. So that's a hook and loop closure. So super easy to use, yeah. you know, it get, gets in and out. It allows you access to the inside of the tackle bag. Uh, so you're not fumbling around with latches or anything like that. It's easy to get in and out. Super basic. Yeah. So on the inside, uh, we kind of went with a, with a molded design. Uh, we kind of drew some of the inspiration from uh, the saltwater world. If you've ever had a surface iron box or a yo-yo iron box. Your jig box. Yeah, you'll notice this style design. That's where we where we got the inspiration for this. Yeah. Let's go into that. 100%. So, originally based off of saltwater bag, but we have these hard plastic square tubes. That's, that's the framework of this bag. Mm -hmm. So, it gives the bag rigidity. Within these, there are clear cylinders. Again, got the Tackle Warehouse logo. Oh yeah. Got to represent. On either side of these tubes, there's rubber caps. This is so you can open and close these. Super easy to Super open Super easy. Close. Both of them open, both close. Really, to load in some umbrella rigs here, you just gotta open one side. Yeah, so. it's super easy. You get four of them in there. All right, Kyle, give us some options on how you can kind of run these tubes inside the umbrella rig bag. So you can really do whatever you'd like here. How I would prefer to run this, the rig completely set up, ready to go. Swim baits on, you know, all different sizes it'll fit. So this is more of a finesse rig, smaller, I don't know, probably your four inch size, up to a large Picasso saltwater rig. I mean, this has full size 4.3 Kitex swim baits on it. So this will show you, it'll hold from the smallest to the biggest. Here's kind of your mid-grade Shane's Baits rig, you know, fully rigged with swim baits. Or if you want to just store a bunch of unrigged rigs per se, you can just put a bunch in a tube. So this is if you're going on a longer trip and you wanna have extra supplies with you, just shove a bunch of them in here. But uh, uh, yeah. ultimately, you know, just gonna load a bunch of swim baits on these things and have them ready to go. Yeah, we, it, there's so many options you can do with this, uh, with these umbrella rig tubes. And if you just want the tubes, we sell just the tubes by themselves as well. They fit perfect inside of our tournament tackle bag. If you just wanna take a couple, I used to just store mine, you know, like in, store my rigs inside uh, lure wraps and it wasn't always efficient. I had to fold everything up to even get them to fit in most of those things. But this gives you a ton of options. Uh, you know, with the fully rigged, you know, fully rigged umbrella rigs to, you know, having a whole bunch of backups with you. But uh, another thing we wanted to note is, you know, when you put the fully rigged umbrella rigs in there with your soft plastics, we've noticed that, you know, most of the swim baits that people are running are swim baits that come in those clam shells and people are worried about the tail's getting kinked up and, uh, and bending your swim baits. And we've tested it over months and months of time and we've had no issues putting fully rigged baits in there and having any kinks or anything in the tails. The, the plastic on most of them 
is so soft it doesn't really affect them. Yeah, it's not gonna kink the tails on it. So, as we most know, we're using Kitex swim baits here. That's or something favorite. similar. Something similar. You can go yeah. any route you want. But the most efficient way to use this is to have the tubes completely outfitted, ready to go. If you're fishing a tournament, the last thing you wanna do is be sticking a bunch of jig heads on a rig, you know, putting a bunch of swim baits on. This is set up, ready to go, so you have four rigs at your disposal, any size you want, ready to go. I mean, really perfect for the tournament guys out there. I mean, uh, if you're out there fishing a tournament and the uh, A-rig bite is hot, and of course you snag a tree, we've all done it, you lose that rig, and now you're gonna spend 10, 15 minutes digging through the boat, finding all the pieces you need to rig one up. You're trying, you know, you're out there with the uh, split ring pliers, getting your jig heads on, gluing the swim baits, putting your teasers on. I mean, it's a time consuming process and that could be the difference of keeping the school fired up and, and getting bites or, you know, uh, you know, losing a tournament and not getting that last bite that you might need in a day. So just making you more efficient and maximizing your time out there on the water. Every cast counts. With this bag, you're gonna have your rigs ready to roll and frighten the fish, not your gear. All right, thank you, Kyle. And thanks for tuning in to this episode, talking about the, uh, the Tack Warehouse Umbrella Rig Bag and the Tack Warehouse Umbrella Rig Tubes. If you want more information or you wanna purchase any of this stuff here, make sure to click shop in the link in the description below. Uh, if you enjoy this piece of content, make sure to give us a thumbs up, put a comment down below, and stay tuned for more Tackle Warehouse content.